Hi guys, welcome to Stockton Kia. Got a lovely 72 plate Kia Sportage GT Line S. It's a self charging hybrid model, less than 15,000 miles. Fantastic car, this, let's say, the top of the range one. Really, really lovely, finishing the metallic dark pentamental grey paint. See, you've got the very striking daytime run lights there. So the reverse tick styling. Colour coded sensors front and back. A lot of the GT Line styling. So, in terms of your grills, your side skirts, all the things like that, are in a glossy black finish. 226 brake horsepower from the combination of that hybrid battery system, electric motor and the engine. 1.6 petrol, traditionally. 18 inch smoky grey alloy wheels. I say a lovely contrast of the glossy black against the pent metal. All your key entry system. Vehicle's got LED combination headlights front and back. Really nice sporty back end to the car. Comes with the reversing camera. Power tailgate as you can see. Nice level load boot space. This car's been well maintained, well looked after. As you can see, previous owner's got things like the boot liner in there. It's got the mats already fitted in. So then condition-wise, the car's in fantastic condition inside and out. You can see there just how nice that paintwork is in the sunshine. Coming on to the interior then, you've got the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. It's part of the GT Line S packaging. Outer rear heated seats, it's got two settings on them. Part leather, part Alcantara finish. So mainly leather on the internals and this lovely Alcantara finish down the side of the bolsters. It's got tri-climate condition, air conditioning controls. So you've got temperature control on the back as well as dual temperature control on the front. So it's got USB-C fast charging ports, one there and the other one on the corresponding passenger seat. Beautiful interior on this, nice and comfortable Isofix. You can see you've got that lovely twin panoramic sunroof. So the front section opens and tilts and the back one stays as a panoramic roof, but you can see just how much light it lets in. This car's got a lot of features on the internals. It's got things like blind spot in the mirrors, rear tra cross traffic alert. It's got collision avoidance as well. There's loads and loads of features on this car. I'll run through the internals now for you. So again, as you'd expect, the front is got that full leather trim. You've got the beautiful GT line embroidery in the back of the front seat. Electrically adjustable with the memory settings on the driver's side. It's got this lovely sweeping display. So both seats are electrically adjustable, passenger one and the driver one. Dual climate air condition as mentioned. It's being the top of the range one, you've got heated and ventilated front seats. So you've got three stage on the heated. We can turn that into the ventilated three settings on there as well. Full heated steering wheel. Keyless start as mentioned. It's got this lovely twin cup holder design there. Keeps them fold out the way. Selectable drive modes. So this is the front wheel drive variant. Main infotainment screen, you sweep that across, you can see it's got this lovely swept finish on it. Hybrid side of things, that tells you a bit more about what's going on in the vehicle, in terms of the energy flow, what's driving the vehicle, the wheels. So at the minute we're just idling, so the engine is just put in charge through the electric motor to keep that battery maintained. Full Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity, digital radio, Bluetooth music, streaming, and that reversing camera as mentioned. So it's a 360 camera, it's just stitching the images together, so if I shut this driver's door, Going to give you that nice stitched image all together of the vehicle and then you've got the nice crystal clear one behind you but you can change the design a bit how you want the, the uh, camera to reflect make it a lot easier for you in terms of comfort and confidence when parking another great feature is you've got the wireless phone charger depending on your phone compatibility but yeah really really nice car let's say top of the range one one of the lovely features about this one as well which hopefully i'll demonstrate to you is that it's got the assistance where if you're stuck in a car park for example if I press and hold this button here on the hold button hopefully there we go so if I'm stuck in an underground car park for example or there's a tight space I can hold this button and I can actually move the car forward or back so how great is that if I let go of the button the car stops if I want to go in reverse just hold the back one Really, really lovely feature. I say it works off the sensors, so because I walked behind the car, it stopped there. So a lovely little feature on this one, like I say, top of the range, fantastic option on there, particularly if you uh, do underground car parking or any tight spaces, you can, like I say, move the car forward or back to make it a lot easier. So many fans options on this GT Line S. I'd say beautiful condition inside and out, really, really top spec, looks fantastic. Any more information you'd like to know if you're interested, 
do get in contact with us here at Stockton Kia. I can imagine this one isn't going to be around for long.